I have for sale here this fat PS3 system that's jailbroken. That comes with the eSATA station that takes both three and a half and two and a half inch hard drives. There is a eSATA cable, a USB port that comes with the USB cable and power adapter and the power button. So all you have to do is you plug in the hard drive, whether it's two and a half or three and a half inch plug it in and power it on. So I'll demonstrate with the two and a half inch hard drive and I don't know if you can see the internals there but it just plugs in like that and then we plug the USB cable. This is a regular old USB cable. You could use the eSATA cable which was meant to be used with the original E3 flasher uh, to replace the hard drive but this can be just used with uh, a regular USB cable and we power it on and since I have some games on this hard drive uh, multi man will load it up here you can see the power light is on there's a data light to tell you when it's transferring information between the USB and then we have games on here so you could uh, expand this to whatever uh, size hard drive you have whether it's 2 terabyte, 3 terabyte and uh, you can just plug and play. So all you have to do is power it off in the back, the USB will shut off, you replace the hard drive, and then you're good to go again. Uh, this uh, PlayStation 3 comes with the games listed. Uh, the hard drive space is limited, so you're going to have to um, use the external. That's why it comes with the eSATA station. Um, yeah, uh, if any questions, please message me. And... Um, to give you a tutorial on how the games work. Right, so I guess I'll show you how that runs right now. So you put the games on the hard drive, you plug it in. Uh, I don't think there's any games on this one. Yeah, I have some games. I have some PlayStation 2 games already on here, Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, so on this hard drive I have Assassin's Creed 4, Beyond Two Souls, uh, Call of Duty, uh, let's go Grand Theft Auto to keep it familiar. Okay, so that was in the program Multiman. Multiman, uh, among other apps, are only usable when you have a jailbroken or modded console. And then Multiman will have created a virtual disk and you launch the game as such because there is no disk in the drive. Because we're running it off of the USB. I hope this video is in focus. So the console itself isn't as aesthetic, aesthetically uh, appealing. It's missing the top part of it um, and, and the flap here. Um, but the hardware is um, in mint condition. Okay, I also forgot to mention there's other uh, package files or programs that I've installed uh, for PlayStation 2 gaming uh, and emulators for other consoles like Super Nintendo, Genesis, and a media server to stream movies from your PC. And Showtime. Showtime is a program like on XPMC. I also have other PlayStations for sale, so it's not just this one I have. If uh, this one is sold, I have other ones. But I only have one eSATA station. So this is Showtime. It's just like uh, XBMC. you got NaviX and other plugins you could use to watch television with. Uh, I'm just browsing here. Uh, we have movies and television in uh, all languages, not just English. We have French. Uh, you could save these uh, playlists to your home screen, like I have here uh, in the others column there. Or you could use NaviX itself, just like you would on an iPad or Apple TV or uh, iLive is a good one or Raspberry Pi I wanted to say uh, here's some French movies for example let's click on Avengers so this is the process so you click on it, you wait a little while it does its thing, it loads and then it'll tell you it's uh, 
language is bite size, bite rate, all that. You can press triangle for options. You can get subtitles. If it's an English movie, you can get uh, French subtitles. Or if it's a German movie, you can get English subtitles. Or whatever any way you want. Mostly there's Czech and Brazilian subtitles. Uh, okay, so moving on. I'm just going to browse through here. So this is kind of like uh, if you're watching, flicking through your television. You know, this is like flicking through NaviX. Look for something. Oh, I found some American Dad. Let's watch some American Dad streaming 24/7. So this is these are shows that'll stream uh, episode after episode, 24/7 type of thing. So you don't have to download the season. It just plays episode after episode. Uh, and then you can get uh, live television channels. There's there's everything. Like there's the uh, Apache Boutte fight not too long ago. Okay, let's see. There's all kinds of stuff here. So you got movies, you got uh, cartoons, you got news, you got sports, you got stuff that that's in theaters now, like uh, Thor. Oh, here's some more French stuff. Looks like I'm looking for French stuff. Cause I have a lot of clients. They say, "Oh, my kids, you know, they want French television." Here's some English stuff. Uh, some stuff that came out in movies. Thor. I know I like this channel because there's a lot of cool cartoons. This is a lot of new uh, movies released on HD, uh, more HD streams, those are French, I think I showed that one. Big movies, these are French. Uh, there's one really good one, Movie Box, I'll be showing you that one in a little bit. Uh, my wife found this one, It was uh, she was searching for movies she couldn't find, it was To Die For with Nicole Kidman. And uh, we looked it up, we found it on Movie Box. Movie Box turns out has uh, this thing called Project Free TV, and that has a lot, a lot, a lot of television shows. So yeah, there's all kinds of links here. You could stream from one channel. You could stream from everything on your PlayStation, in fact. At the same time, you could use it as a Bitcoin miner. So this is something really interesting as well. Uh, if you can't find something uh, on, a, on a playlist, you know, you have something obscure you want to look for, you could do a search. Blade, Run Blade Runner is easy to find. It's in Movie Box. It's in all, kind of all kinds of playlists, but uh, I'm just going to do a search here anyways. Okay, that's taking too long. Well, you can get uh, television, like you can get Pinoy TV, Filipino channels, you can get uh, uh, Arab channels, you can get uh, Al Jazeera, you got BBC, you got HBO, you got pay-per-view, You watched, we had that Pascal Butte fight we had, um, NHL, if you're a fan of NHL, hockey, football, you have all of it streaming in HD. Uh, here I am searching for movie box. In here you have, uh, like I was mentioning, you have the Project Free TV. If uh, you were familiar with that on a computer, which has all of the television shows you could think of, you could you could be streaming it on your PlayStation. Um, here we have television shows. I'm just going through the movies. I'm showing you to die for, and um, so this is a great replacement for a cable television or digital television package. It's free, uh, and um, it's easy to use. It's on your PlayStation, which is also running uh, free PS3 games. So this has turned into kind of a review on a uh, modded PS3 console. Um, all in all, this is a one-stop uh, system. You don't really need to be purchasing games after this. You don't need to be paying for television after this or movies, because all of it is streaming and it's free. As new games come out, you can get it. As new movies come out, you can get it. As television plays live, you can get it. Oh, a great thing on Project Free TV is that old television shows, I mean, rather new television shows that are airing, you could watch it, like Daily Show, Simpsons, all that, and more, so much more. Just message me, and I'll answer all your questions. Thanks.